This tutorial is on how to troubleshoot Retina Engrave software. If you have a problem with the laser cutter, there's a couple things that you can do. The first is look at the bottom left, make sure it says connected down here. If it doesn't say connected, make sure you turn on the laser cutter and click this reconnect button and it should connect. If you're still having problems, there's a couple other things you can do. The next thing is you can clear your workspace. That clears off everything on your workspace and then you can open your file again. And your file will be brought into Retina Engrave. If you're still having problems with the Retina Engrave, then the third thing you can do, and this is what I recommend, is just turn completely turn off Retina Engrave and relaunch it. So that'll be good to go. The fourth thing you can do is really pay attention to your settings over here. Generally speaking, you're going to either click ignore raster or ignore vector, depending on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to cut something, you're going to click ignore raster, because raster will make your laser cutter go back and forth really quick, but not cut very well. If you want to engrave your pen, for example, you're going to click ignore, rast ignore vector because raster will actually is really good for engraving names. The other thing to make sure you pay attention to is your raster power and your vector powers. You want to make sure they're at the right settings so that you don't cut all the way through your pen, for example, or not cut all the way through your other material. And that's it.